Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season number 5, episode number 11, All the Comforts of Home. This episode directed by Kate Woods. Okay, in, in this episode right here, the team is back home. The Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are back home. And so now they're trying to figure out what now they're trying to figure out what to do so they can stop the upcoming threat from the world blowing up. They gotta stop that from happening. That's the whole plan. And so and they also gotta make sure they get past uh, get past law because they're wanted criminals, and so they gotta do a lot of things undercover in the shadows and to make sure the world doesn't make sure the world doesn't blow up. Find out what caused it, how to stop it, and how to and and and, and, and what to do to, pre to prevent it. Now, everybody didn't want to be back. Chloe didn't want to come back. I mean, not Chloe. I'm sorry. Daisy didn't want to come back. And, but, um, Phil persuaded her to come back in his own special way. But, so now the whole team back together. Everybody's back. They're happy. They're back home. They can look at the, they can look at the sky again. They can see the sun shining in the air. They can smell the freshness. I mean, it's good. Everything's good. And also... Somebody else came with, with him too. Deke. Somehow he survived the explosion. Some, I wish I thought he died. Well, turns out he did. He ended up in, in this back in time on this earth before the world blew up. And he's having the time of his life. He's looking around. He sees the sunshine. He's seeing trees. He's hugging them. People think he's high on drugs. But whatever. He's, he's, he's living a life that he thought he never will see ever in his lifetime. He's on earth. And it's not some... He's not stopping some kind of ship, eating some nasty food. He can't go out in space. He can't breathe there. So now he actually can walk around without any chips on him. He's feeling fantastic. He's enjoying his life. And he also he realizes that, well, he needs money to buy things. And he didn't know that here. And he gets, he gets himself into a lot of trouble. And it's up to Chloe. He must help him in that situation. Because, see, Chloe stays back. Because she's scared she's going to blow up the planet. So therefore, she's trying to stay out of the whole Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. plan thing. Even though I don't think she's, she's a reason for this to happen. But that's what she thinks. But even before all these things go down, before the team comes back, before they, they enjoy their new found freedom, you, it focuses on General Hell and her daughter Ruby. And Ruby seems, and, and it seems like Ruby didn't show up for class. And General Hell is giving her a little firm talking to, let her know that she's supposed to go to school. And, and the thing is, though, the way this, the way they set this up, it seems like a regular teenage mother-daughter relationship. Only the, the daughter is going through a little bit of a rebellious, rebellious phase, and she doesn't seem to quite um, be on board with her mother going at the age of shield. And she also seems to look up to uh, um, Daisy. A.K.A. Um, Quake as her hero. That's how it all seems. It all seems like she's just a regular normal teenage girl having a little angst. And that's about it. But it seems to be more to her than meets the eye. And we found out, we found out that in this episode right here. And, 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 and Ruby is played by Dave um, Cameron. No, not Dave. That's, that's, what's that? Dove. Dove Cameron. And if you know Dove Cameron, she also played on a TV show called Living Maddie. And she also did the, 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 the Descendants movies. Both one and two, and three is coming out pretty soon too. So I'm looking forward to seeing that one as well. And so now you see her in a whole different light. She's been a whole, a whole, totally different character, different tone altogether. A lot more grown up, and she's a very, uh, in a way, kind of scary. But at the same time, you can see her conflict she's having with her mother because she's not quite sure that her mother is right. Or they on, or she's on the right side. Because her mother's not on the right side. That means she's not on the right side either. But at the same time, she's also really good at her work. Really good. Because at first, I didn't think she's going to have that much of an appearance on this episode. That's a little small introduction. We get to see her, and that's about it. But even though she doesn't have a big part in this episode... But she does play a major part in this episode because she makes things happen that set things in motion that's, that, that's going to be a reflection of the future that might actually happen. Because it's one thing about time travel, and it, which happens in a lot of TV shows and a lot of movies, which, which it, may, it may be happening now. No matter what you do to try to change the future, the future seems to always happen. And there, and so you got the you got the chill team led by Coulson trying to change the future, 
but it still seems like things are still going exactly according to plan, which is really messed up. But overall, I enjoyed this episode a whole lot. It had humor to it too that I really didn't enjoy, especially the scene between um with um Adik watching him like go to a bar for the first time and actually enjoy eating food and watching him like get drunk and that was fun to watch. Um, also watching um Noah who played who, Noah who, like another um I guess alien robot like character. He also another one of those little watcher figure people, and he's played by um Joe um, um David Moore and. Watching how he acts and how um and, and how he interacts with everybody else, because the thing is though he's giving off comedic comedic um moments, but he also is also very dry because he's his because his facial expressions and the way he emotes things is just one note, so it, you can kind of miss the jokes that he's giving, but at the, but at the same time you actually can appreciate what he's doing because it's actually pretty funny. And then you, you even had like the, the moments with um with General Stoner, who's played by um Patrick um. On War, War, War Burton, and um, he was he was a, a hologram, but you enjoyed the humor that was there too that he was delivering. So it was just fun to watch the time. The show can't it, it, this season has been pretty dark, but it, it but it still managed to have a little bit of the humor in there as well because it is a Marvel show, and they they always manage to bring in a little bit of humor as well in the joke. It doesn't none of the jokes felt forced. It felt pretty natural, and you really did enjoy it as as uh, as always like I always do. Yeah, so. And watching this team str um, trying to struggle to, um, to um, face this new threat in their lives is really um, interesting and, mess and, and messed up at the same time too because it seems like they're not they're not winning so far. Cause this is this is just the this, this season, this, the show is just starting again, and they just got back home and things have affected them in a huge major way, which is going to hurt the team a whole lot. Oh my gosh! Whew. Oh my gosh. All I gotta say is Dove Cameron's performance was amazing. Her introduction to the show, fantastic. Um the crew as a overall as a whole was always great. Always fun to watch them because you pretty much you have been watching them since the, since the first season and their performances has always been fantastic. So that's not that's not really an issue there. Just watching how these characters grow and change and evolve to who they are now is just always amazing to watch. And watching this team go through all these different struggles and know how they how they're going to overcome is just fascinating and also interesting and keeps you engaged. And that's why I love this show so much. But if you haven't watched them, Agent of Shield, I said check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. And if you have left, I say come back. Come back. This may be the last season. Or not. I'm not so sure. It could come back next year or not. I I'm, I don't know. This could be the end. It feels like it could be the end. Or it could be a, another beginning. Fingers crossed for a new beginning. But if this is the end, I'm going to enjoy it to the end. And so far, it seems like it's trying to go out with a bang. And I'm enjoying that a whole lot. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, the thumbs up. I'll shut bam and subscribe to my channel. And share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. And before I say peace out. Hit that little bell at the bottom so you'll be notified when I make a video. Peace out, uh, people.